hi guys welcome back to my channel yeah i'm super duper excited and in today's video i'll be showing you how i make my own diy scrub at home with just four ingredients i mean isn't that amazing ingredients that you could get from your kitchen i mean it's something everybody should have so if you want to learn and see how i make my own scrub my diy scrub at home please stay tuned and let's jump right into the video sugar is a natural humitant it draws moisture into the skin also its small particles makes an excellent exfoliant and is used to exfoliate dead skin cells revealing a glowing and healthy loving skin now um, guys if you can't find uh, wh uh white sugar you can make use of brown sugar either of both will do justice to your scrub our next ingredient will be lemon lemon juice contains vitamin c it has natural antioxidant that helps repair damaged skin cells and promotes anti-aging it has astringent qualities and also contains a high ph level which can help decrease oil on the skin and reduce inflammation our next ingredient will be olive oil olive oil is very good for the skin as it contains a fat called squalene this natural fat is the skin's most important protective fat also applying olive oil on your skin blocks about 20 percent of the sun's harmful uv rays it boosts the skin's natural sun blocking prote proteins olive oil contains vitamins and antioxidants that helps to regenerate skin cells giving the skin a clearer and smoother look our next ingredient is honey guys we can't overemphasize the use i mean of honey honey is one of nature's most referred skin remedies thanks to its antibacterial and antiseptic pro properties which makes it very effective with preventing and treatment of acne honey is also a humitant which helps draw moisture into the skin your skin leaving your skin moist and glowing honey is a great moisturizer gentle exfoliator reduces fine lines and wrinkles and helps to aid perfect glow for your skin so guys we have our measuring cup that we'll be using to make this scrub we'll be measuring a cup of sugar and then we have a strainer that's to strain the lemon so that the seed doesn't go into our mixture then we have our measuring bowl a spoon to mix properly and then we have our jar storage jar to store our scrub once we're done with it so i'm going to be pouring my sugar into my bowl my mixing bowl you can use brown sugar like i said earlier on it doesn't have to be white sugar but i prefer white sugar for this particular video my next ingredient will be my goya olive oil if you don't want to use this you can use any other carrier oil of your choice if it doesn't it doesn't have to be olive oil if you don't want to use olive oil you can use coconut oil almond oil or any carrier oil of your choice avocado oil carrot oil any oil at all that you would like to use but for this i prefer my olive oil i prefer to use my olive oil so i did introduce this cup to you earlier and i'll be using two of these cups but at first i had to use one i had to pour in one cup first because i'm trying to be very careful i don't want my scrub too watery i don't want it too i don't want to have that you know watery that's very watery consistency so i'll be putting in one cup first then in the course of the video you see that i'll be using two cups at the end of the day so guys my next ingredient now will be my um honey man honey you can't you can't overemphasize the use of honey and guys please please and please don't use any honey you don't trust try and get organic or raw honey make sure that you're using a good honey for your skincare and diys whatever you're doing including your scrubs please make sure that your honey is an organic honey a good honey a raw honey Make sure you're getting a good one. So, guys, I'll be using one. I'll be using two spoons actually, but 
here i'm putting one spoon first because i'm trying to make sure that i get a you know the consistency i want i don't want the scrub i want you know i'll be wetting my skin before putting um, my scrub so i don't want it to be watery you get what i'm saying so next ingredient is my my lemon guys you can also we can sub substitute lemon for lime or orange juice any one you prefer well i'm using this because this is what i can find and i'm not using too much of it because i have a sensitive skin and i recommend orange juice for those that has very sensitive skin so you can see that the mesh is with i mean holding uh, the seed exactly why i needed that strainer so guys mix properly if you want to add more of these ingredients however you want it it's your choice however you like the consistency to be guys it is your choice so i'm making this how i like it and i'm sure that if you try this you would love it as well so guys it's up to you to you know make it any consistency you want but this is how i want mine so i'll be putting another cup of this like i said earlier that's the 31 ml cup so i'll be adding the olive oil more of the olive oil and also i'll be adding more of my honey stay tuned guys <music> don't forget to give this a very good stir stir it properly as you can see look at the cons this is exactly how i want my scrub to be i mean just look at it so yummy why is it no food why can't i eat it so this is exactly how i want it to be look out for this consistency and if you want yours you know a bit watery than this just put more oil more honey and um you're good to go wow i love how it looks just check it out so guys i'll be transferring it into my storage container make sure that your storage container has a well lit cover so that moths and bacteria doesn't find it their way into your scrub and then you can store this in your refrigerator for about two weeks well i've never done more than two weeks in, and I use it within that period of time because I scrub for, I mean, twice a week. So you can also do that. Please don't scrub more than three times a week so that your skin doesn't dry out. Do not forget. So always store this in your refrigerator. Don't forget, we didn't put any kind of um, uh, preservative. So they are all natural ingredients and they are prone to fungi and bacteria if, they are, if there is no kind of preservative in it. So look at it. Just check it out, guys. Look at how beautiful it looks. I mean, why do I have to spend so much in buying um, a, a, an exfoliating scrub when I can make for myself? Don't mind me. I'm clumsy. <laughs> so, guys, why would I spend so much when I can do this myself? Just check it out. I mean, with and you have your natural ingredients in it. Go and try this, guys. Go and try this. So the next will be, I'll show you how it looks on my skin. Now my skin is wet. I'd already wet my skin, cleaned it, and then I'll be applying my scrub. Guys, just check out. Now you, you can see what I'm talking about when I said I don't want it too light. You can see how it is on my skin. And always scrub in circular motion, guys. Do not forget, scrub in circular motion. Yeah, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to go and use my scrub. So, guys, just check it out. Look at the texture on the skin. In fact, you will notice a difference immediately after you, you know, rinse off, after 
you know, the scrubbing process. Also, don't forget to scrub the back of your hands, the inner corners. You, I mean, you have to focus on this part. Also, if you have dark knuckles like I do, make sure you also concentrate on your dark knuckles. Look at it. Scrub it very well. Just as I'm scrubbing it right now, scrub it very well. I mean, you won't invest in, a, in making a scrub and you don't get to scrub your dark knuckles. So scrub your dark knuckles properly. Then you can have this for like 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing it off. And also don't forget to scrub in circular motion, guys. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to share this video as well. So guys, I've had this on for like 10 to 15 minutes. You'll be seeing the magic it just did to my skin after rinsing off. As mean, it's so soothing. My skin felt different. Now look at my skin after rinsing. Can you see it? Just check it out. Look at how smooth it is. And don't forget, you always moisturize your skin after exfoliating it after scrubbing you need to moisturize you need to i'm in fact i'm singing it right now you need to moisturize your skin after scrubbing because it's as good as not even scrubbing at all i mean your skin goes back even to a worse state if you don't moisturize it because you leave the skin dry and dehydrated so make sure that you grab a moisturizer a lotion and moisturize your skin just check out my skin look at how beautiful it looks i mean it's so beautiful